So, so far we have discussed two laws of exponents, that is the first law and the second law. If you haven't watched those videos, then don't worry, I'll put their links in the description box below. Do watch them and then come and watch this video. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn the third law of exponent and that is taking power of a power. Taking power of a power. So what does that mean? It means if we take this power that is 2 to the third power and this further, this power is actually raised to another power that is, let's say this is fifth. So this base 2 is already raised to an exponent and this is being further raised to an another power or exponent, right? So this is 2 to the third power raised to the fifth power. The third law of exponent says that if you have such condition, if you have such number, then this is actually equal to 2 the base and this exponent and the power this whole has been further raised to that is 3 times 5. This gives you 2 to the 15th power. 2 to the 15th power. Simply we multiply these two exponents. Okay. So 2 to the 15th power. If, we, if you want to see the proof, then let's do this. So this is 2 to the third power. It means this can be written as 2 times 2 times 2, right? This one. And this is actually what? 2 to the fifth power. We have simply, you know, written it in this form, in the form of multiplication. So 2 times 2 times 2 and this whole is to the fifth power. Power. Now, this whole can be written as in the same way as we can write this as 2 times 2 times 2 then times and let's copy this. So control C, control V, control V, 3, control V, 4, control V. Right? Because this is 2 times 2 times 2 to the fifth power. Imagine that this is actually what a. Imagine that this is a. You are denoting this with a. So this is a times a times a times a times a. Right? Because we have to multiply this whole. That is, we are denoting with a five times. Does that make sense? Right? I hope so. So this is what? If you open the brackets, this is. 2 times 2 times 2, that is total number of how many? 15 times, right? 3, 3, 3, 3. So this is total how many 2's? We have actually 15 2's. If you want, then let me write it. If you want it to be written. So let me copy this. Control C, Control V. Control V. Control V. So total we have 2 multiplied with itself 15 times. So 2 to the 15th power. That's exactly the same what we have written here and here is the proof. Right? Let's take another number. So if we have let's say 3 to the 7th power and this is further raised to the 10th power to the 10th power so this is according to according to the second third law of exponent that is if you have a power that is further raised to another power this will be 3 and this gets 7 times 10 and what do we get we get 3 to the 70th 70th power this is the result if you want to see the proof then do this let's do this this is 3 to the 7th power, that means 3 times 3 times 3, so 4, 5, 6, 
and 7 right to the 10th power now this can be written as if you write this as let me copy this so we have to write this 10 times right multiplied with v2 here so this was times one two three then here we this fourth one then times here gets comes the fifth one then sixth one the seventh the eighth the ninth Tenth. Okay. So remove this. This is times multiplied, 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 and multiplied. So we are actually multiplying this whole that is three multiplied with itself seven times. And how many times you have to multiply? 10 times. So 1 time, 2 time, 3 time, 4 time. And if you are getting confused, why? Imagine that this whole is actually what? A. So this is A to the 10th power. It means that you have to multiply A 10 times, right? That's exactly same what we have done here. So how many totals? Total number of 3's uh, is being multiplied with itself? 7 here. So in each we have 7. So total 10 groups such uh, such groups we have so it means total 70 so you are actually multiplying 3 times 3 times total how many times 70 times this is the first one this is the 70th sorry 3 so it means this will be 3 to the 70th power so if we have to if we have to write the law of third law of exponent in a generalized way so imagine that if the power is a the power is a to the nth power and this is further raised to the nth power so this should be this is equal to a to the m times nth power so this is the generalized way of doing this. It means that if our number is let's say thousand to the sorry thousand to the second power raised to thousandth power. So this should be equal to thousand and two times thousand. This gives thousand to the two thousandth power, right? So this will be the answer.